What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMod's World. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be upgrading Demarius Thomas, right? Now, look, I told you guys, I'm completely against upgrading these cards and doing all, like, you know, all these power-ups. But what happened with Demarius Thomas is throughout the year, when I got a lot of gnats and stuff like that, they were giving me all Demarius Thomases, right? So I ended up doing his, you know, his original set for free. Like, like straight up for free. Like, I didn't spend anything for any of the other ones because I was getting them, you know, as gnats, right? So look, I'm going to just give you guys a walkthrough about how all of this happened. All of the cards that he had, right? Th this card right here, I actually pulled him. Did I pull him? Because I completed this one. I think I pulled him. Yeah, okay, yeah, I pulled... He, he was, um... This wild card, when you completed the, um... The, what, what was that set that they had? They had the other, um, what was it? The Most Feared with the Strength. And I had him, and he was already there. Where's Most Feared? Right here, right? So he was one of these scary, strong players. So I had to um, I had to get rid of this guy. Where, where was he? I think he was one of these cards. But once you did Ray Lewis, I believe you got him back, right? Yeah. So that was the card you got, and I was able to get him back. So I, it didn't really cost me anything to upgrade. Plus, I had other Nats early on in the year that I was able to put into the set, right? So let me explain to you why I'm going this route and why I just spent 315 and I don't care that I'm going to lose it. Pretty much what's going to happen is this, guys. I'm going to run more pitch, all right? Now, my most previous, my most recent, my most recent stream on YouTube, uh, I was in my playoff and I was running more pitch like a savage animal. And I just want to explain to you guys what's going on. This is what happens with more pitch, right? The game mechanics with the way that these guys block and everything like that is all determined by speed. So Christian Nakoye and Mike Singletary, they're garbage as far as like pass blocking and stuff like that. Like if you get a if you get a D lineman, right? Like a D line user that's trying to terrorize your life, he's gonna come in every time. All right, if you're passing the ball. They they don't really have what it takes to block realistically. Okay. So you don't want to have them as like a you don't want to gear these guys towards having, you know, good pass block and thinking you're gonna have a lot of time. That's not what these guys are for. My outside guys, Jason Peter. Um, Dan Deardorff, he's garbage, but he, he, you know what I'm saying? He does his job a little bit, whatever. These guys are pretty much used because of their speed. They get out as guards to go and block for you when you're running more pitch. Now, your O-line should reflect what you're going to need to run more pitch. And I'm telling you guys this now, right? Because I've played against a lot of people that run more pitch and I've been able to lock up, but it all depends on the game and how EA is feeling. But I want you guys to understand this. If you're having issues, especially my viewers that are having issues, and you're tweeting me, you're like, gee, my, I can't win games. Um, these guys are doing all this garbage. You, you know, dudes are running cover for a drop and all kind of foolishness and stupidness, right? This is what you're going to do to now annoy them. You're going to run more pitch, but you're going to gear your old line in, you know, to be able to do that. Make sure that you have those two players, Mike Singletary and Christian Okoye. Now, Demarius Thomas is one of the highest run blocking um, wide receivers in the game. OK, so with that being said, that makes him very, 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 very useful for more pitch, because with tight slots, sometimes you're going to have to pass the ball out of it. And what most people do, generally, you'll see people come out and what they'll do is they'll have tight ends. Right. They'll have a lot of blocking tight ends and they'll they'll have, you know, everything just stacked with that. You'll play some guys that have like John Ross on the edge because they want to go deep every now and again. But for the most part, they're going to usually use tight ends and fullbacks. All right, like, you know, guys with high run block to run more pitch out of tight slots. Demarius Thomas is a very, very huge factor. And like I said, I have to make sure that as we continue to progress and we need to get these online wins, because like I said, we're going we're gonna to do different things with the team. I'm going to start making you guys get more involved with my team because you guys are enjoying the way that I explain this stuff to you guys. So we're going to just start putting different teams together. And I want you guys to be successful. Obviously, if you run into me online, which a lot of you guys have been doing, you know, whether you lurk me or whatever like that, you guys have also been running more pitch and doing wild things. I don't care about that, bro. It's my job to stop it. Like I said, I just don't think that you guys should be, you know, DC glitching or doing anything like that, disconnecting from games. But if you're going to run more pitch, bro, look, the pro players get away with it. Everybody thinks that these pro players are, you know, yo, bro, the guy runs more pitch, everything is cool. So, listen, if nobody cares, it's, it's sort of like this, right? You guys are asking me ways to get the wins that's needed to get Night Train. My job as a content creator with Madden is to make sure that my viewers get everything out of whatever I can give them. So, this is what you're going to do. You're going to set up your team to be able to block and you're going to run more pitch every play. You're going to run dive every play. And let me tell you something. Some people are just going to rage quit, but 
you got to just make sure that you're running it correctly. Now, like I said, my most recent live stream on YouTube will display to you what I'm talking about and how annoying it is. But I don't care anymore because I get a guy that doesn't have brains like in his skull or a guy that doesn't have kneecaps or want to do squats. Like I run into guys that are the biggest idiots ever, right? And then they terrorize me the entire game, throwing the ball through my body, all that stuff like that. And everybody thinks that's cool. It's not. It's very, very frustrating. So now we're going to frustrate our opponents and maybe you guys that are, you know, that are looking for schemes and stuff like that. I run it out of the Houston Texans playbook. Feel free to use the Saints. I don't care what you use. Just run more pitch. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to upgrades and we're going to go ahead and finish off the job. We're going to, like I said, we're going to sacrifice 315K in order to make sure that more pitch is effective because his run block is going to be wild and savage. But look, this is what it is, right? We're going to go right here and we're going to go to Demarius Thomas. And then we're going to upgrade right now the way that this is supposed to be. He's going to be wide receiver tier five, right? Wide receiver Demarius Thomas tier five. Now with all this stuff here, I don't know specifically what it's going to cost you to do all the other stuff that's up there. But if I'm only recommending it if you already had this power up. Because I really don't recommend you guys powering up cards or anything like that. I really just don't. Um, but if you if you already have him at that level... He's going to make sure that you terrorize completely your opponent. Your opponent is going to be raging uncontrollably when you come out running more pitch. All right? So let's take a look at why he's there. 98 release. He goes all the way up to a 94 speed. Now, understand this, right? He's going to burn people better than Randy Moss. And you're probably saying to yourself, like, what are you talking about? Madden 18 doesn't make sense when it comes to the speed threshold. For some reason, my slower receivers gets behind defenders that are really fast. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it happened. I'm just letting you guys know straight facts, all right? You guys have to make sure that you understand that. That's very, very serious. That you understand that you don't need max speed at wide receiver to get behind the faster defenders. This guy will probably burn every corner in the game. Because I've actually got behind uh, Rod Woodson with Gronkowski. It's weird. It's stupid. But that's just what the game is, right? So look, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the run block. And I'm going to explain. You see that run block? 81 at wide receiver. Okay? 81. What, what is his impact block? Let's check his impact block out. His impact block is... Where is he at? He should be... What is he? Further down with the impact block? Let me check this out. Impact, 78. That's very, very good for a wide receiver. All right? I think he's the number one blocking wide receiver in the game. So with him as an addition, it's going to be very, very good for us. All right? Running more pitch. So now you guys can see how serious I am about running more pitch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put him in the lineup and um, we're going to make sure that you guys understand that specific players have to be utilized in order to make sure that it works successfully. You can't just put out receivers that have no blocking and you think that more pitch is going to be successful. You can't just put out like, you know, slow guards or whatever and think it's going to be successful. Now understand, um, Des Deshaun Jackson, he doesn't play. He's just there right now because I don't have anybody else to put there. He doesn't have any run block or anything like that. That guy's an idiot. I don't, he, he's not being utilized. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not that dude. He's just there for whatever reason. I, I don't even know why he's there. We pretty much utilize Demarius Thomas, Rob Gronkowski, Dwight Clark, and we use Patrick DeMarco, okay? That's primarily how we stack our tight slots, all right? Now, again, team strategy, you're running Texans offense, okay? You're running the Texans offense, and you don't care about your opponent. That's the number one thing I can't stress enough, okay? Don't care about your opponent. You want him to understand and feel your pain. For a lot of you guys that have already stopped playing Madden and you still watch my videos, we talk about this sometimes when I leave comments with you guys. I'm going to keep finding ways to, to make people understand that we don't care anymore, bro. And I want you guys to enjoy it. So listen to me. Because the passing game is so stupid, unless you're running like trips with the play action wheel route and stuff like that, then you have it flipped and then only the guy in the seam gets open and bunch. It's just so dumb the things you have to do to actually burn somebody deep. All that is too complicated. Like, you know, having the one play cover two beater. Like I see a lot of guys leaving comments like, yeah, you don't run cover two beaters. You don't run cover three beaters. Let me tell you why, you idiots. This is why I don't run it. And this is why I ignore a lot of the guys that are saying it. For, for, with my luck with Madden, I run into a guy with no eyeballs, no skull, and no earlobes. And the guy runs a stock defense, and for some reason, I can't beat his stock defense. My, 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 my one-play routes or whatever, when you have the, you know, a comeback with the deep and whatever, and the safety's supposed to pay attention to the other guy, it just doesn't work out for me. So what I do, I'm going to run the ball, and I'm going to keep running the ball. And I'm going to make people understand I don't care. So this is what it is, right? Demarius Thomas is where we are right now. 
Because that guy's a huge key to make sure if we do need to pass the ball, he's going to get open. He's going to. But again, let me, let me just stress this to you again. If you guys run tight slots, right? You're going to notice that even though nobody's really in front of you, there's a force field. It's like a force field from Xavier from X-Men, and you just don't move. A lot of things with this game is broken, okay? So if you come out and you try to pass the ball, you're going to see them move side to side before they run straight, even if the guy is not completely over you. It's very, very stupid. It makes absolutely no sense. And no, it's not just you. That's the way the game is made. So I want you guys to be very, very understanding about that situation when you're going to pass the ball out of tight slots. There's different ways to maneuver around it, like you could audible to, um, you know, the bunch and stuff like that. But this video was specifically telling you why I powered him up. Why would I sacrifice 315K? That is exactly why. He's the best blocking wide receiver in the game. Not only that, his release and everything like that is going to help us beat all these idiot guys that are coming out pressing and doing foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to get animations to get behind people faster than other wide receivers, all right? Because realistically, Calvin Johnson should have much better uh, traits, but he just doesn't. That's just the way the game is. It doesn't matter, okay? So let's not go too much into that. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Demarius Thomas, we're using Patrick DeMarco, Rob Gronkowski, and Dwight Clark as our blockers. We have Okoye, and we have Mike Singletary as our right guard and left guard. And everybody else, just get guys with decent impact block. Travis Frederick, this card right here is garbage. We're going to work on something with this, though. We might have to get rid of this guy. But we'll figure it out together. You don't have to worry about it. Anything that I change, I will update you as always, all right? So I want to thank you guys for watching. We got him upgraded. And again, we're running more pitch to the death of us, all right? Let's go with a video view goal of 45,000. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch as well so you can see more live gameplays. See you guys and girls next time. One love.